it was fun visiting brooks farm it is uh, on mount albert just 40 kilometers north of our house in pickering A long tractor trailer has come to take us to the sugar bushes. On the way, this farm is for the apples. Now we are reaching the sugar bushes. but of course for demonstration purposes looks really good there's not any bugs in there right now which is beautiful um, this is a really good run you can see the sap flowing out and that tap will drip out 40 liters of sap over a season on average we were out till 3 a.m. last night midnight the night before and 2 a.m. the night before boiling boiling and boiling and boiling oh okay but uh yeah, I'll show you the... Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> follow me and I'll... Thank you. <laughs> Basically works on the concentrating the sap as we move it down. The pioneers would have filled all these kettles up in the morning, whether they were using buckets on yokes to carry it, or they would have dumped it into a basket. But again, like I said, we want... To yeah, every farm, every 100 acre farm back in the day would have had a wood lot left so that they'd metal, have so they had to do things like this right oh. no metal required you can see a native lady here and in this case she has yeah. animal hide buckets oh yes and there's that wooden spile that she's put into the tree and that was simply put into like an axe gap they had some honeys but the natives had some sugar because of course they were making the maple the syrup they knew how to do it this was, was the original one so it's all steel right oh. Yeah. And of course, because it's all just steel and has a bit of rust to it, it would have contaminated the syrup. Yeah. Uh, somebody had come in and, and uh, cut some trees down for furniture wood. When you look through the forest, you can see the stumps uh, from that point. It was probably a good thing for us because we don't want... Six, maybe a seven. So we look at this tree. It's a bit tough on top, but it, it can have two. A tree like that first tree that we saw, the giant one, that one is very thick uh, together. Because of that, uh, we have a very close canopy. All the trees are all kind of growing within each other, all fighting for light. Set up your, your bush. Just by yourself, you're more than welcome. How are you doing, dude? I've been making maple syrup for 30 years. I know a little bit about it. Our family has been making it for 25 years. Where's Isabella? They should put their hats on. You can only put one tap in it, but that hole will heal a lot faster, okay. and it tends to produce a lighter syrup. Call it four to six weeks, right? That's for when you traditionally boil off to make the sugars, right? At this time of year, because the sugar content's high. To be honest, as long as you get this middle, so that's where it goes back. Okay. Now this tree's probably there. We go. Oh, perfect. So. We have to go around. The rule of thumb is if I can do this and I can't touch my hands when I give oh. it a big hug, okay. that's a two tapper. Oh. Right? Okay, bye. A little bit of build up in the line, we're not sure, but oh, I gotta learn more information. No, that that. That. This line can only that's take the volume of stick. Yeah, I can't put my fingers together, it can have two. A tree like that first tree that we saw, the giant one, that one can have three. There's only about five feet of sap above our heads. And the only reason why we need sap ladders here at our farm is the... But that's the key about that. 
recovered wood, recovered chips, and that is what we make in every once in a while. This then is your finishing pan. This is almost syrup everybody. When this temperature reaches 7, this dial is set for 0 to be 100 degrees Celsius. When it reaches 7, that is maple syrup. We open up this top. And look how golden it is. Right now, that Thank you. 